We had him from start to finish, and he actually raced in our show. We have a lot of great stallions here at Darley USA, but it's very rare that we have one of them that we actually own while they're racing, or if we do own them, that they run in our silks. This is because we also have something called the Dolphin Stables. If you guys pay attention to the media, you might sometimes hear, like, when they're talking about the Kentucky Derby, they say Sheikh Mohammed, and they say Godolphin, and people are always like, well, you know, what's, what's going on here? Basically, Darley is Sheikh Mohammed's private breeding operation. The Dolphin Stables is going to be a family-wide racing venture. So why uh, Sheikh Hamdan is going to have Shadwell and Sheikh Mohammed is going to have Darley, they're going to come together as a family to race for horses under the Godolphin blue and white silks. Um, Desert Party is going to be a really good example of that. He's one of our big horses. Regal Ransom, Midshipman is a good example. He's now going to be running under our silks. The Godolphin silks are basically our A horses. They're like our race car, A squad team. They're going to be our international superstars. They're going to go to Dubai, do their wintering there, come back here, run in the Derby, maybe go to England, or they'll be in England and they'll come here in for the Breeders' Cup. It's our goal as a, I guess, as Darley to breed horses and produce horses that are good enough to graduate from our Darley silks and go into our Godolphin silks. Midshipman is a perfect example. Uh, he won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile last year, which is his trophy. And uh, he was in the, in the Darley silks, well now he's moved on to the Godolphin silks. And just kind of a little side note back to that about Bernardini's previous trophy. Uh, well, first of all, people ask me why did Bernie say, stay in the Darley silks. He got a real late start. He didn't get to do the Kentucky Derby. He started a little bit later, so we just got to keep him, fortunately. Um, we don't complain. We're not quite sure why, but hey. We got to keep all his trophies. Uh, this Preakness trophy here is a replica. The real trophy is going to be about as tall as me. It's worth about $3 million. It's the most valuable trophy in all American sports. Uh, the value, a lot of it probably goes back one to the fact that it dates back to 1890. Tiffany's made it, and then it's just very, very intricate silver award. Uh, basically, when you win the Preakness, you get to take your photo with the trophy, and then it puts it back in the vault. A couple of weeks later, you're going to get this replica, which is worth about $30,000 in itself. Uh, Pretty much anything we went under the Darley silks, we get to keep. Anything that was one under the Godolphin silks, they're going to be the ones who get to keep it. Um, other notable awards are going to be our Eclipse of Awards. Those are like your end of the year Grammy or Emmy awards that you're going to win. Uh, we have one for Bernardini, one for Midshipman, and then we won a Homer Award a couple of years ago. And then the Breeders' Cup trophies are kind of our other real big notable trophies. Those are those pretty silver horses. Uh, Traditionally, the Kentucky Derby is the biggest day of the year. If you're a racing fan, if you're really involved in the industry, the Breeders' Cup is going to be your biggest day of the year. That's our world championship. There's over $20 million in prize money given out over a two-day period. And horses from all over the world are going to be shipping in for it. So, last year, the royal family won either one or bred five horses in the Breeders' Cup. So, fortunately, Ravens Path and Midshipmen were under our silk, so we get to keep the Breeders' Cup. <laughs> <laughs>